Hello everyone, welcome back to how to explain uh, Minecraft uh, stone block uh, to I never do that again. Okay, message received. Um, a couple of things. Draws. We like them. I like them. Why have I only got four? Because they're hard to do, basically. Second thing. Draws. This one. Full of cobblestone and then two loads more cobblestone. I did say, why not just craft a void upgrade? Okay, let's do that. Void upgrade. This here will destroy anything more than the draw can hold. Brilliant. Upgrade template. Ah, sticks around some sort of draw. Gets you two. Okay. Square one. Point number one. Draws are kind of hard to make. They're not hard to make, but they're blinking efforts. So here's my plan. Crafter. With a crafter, we can do magic. All we need is a little bit of blue, a little bit of gold nugs. There's some gold there. And a little bit of blue. Easy peasy. So let's turn the gold into some nugs. How many do we get? Nine. Let's do two then, because that way we have an even number. And then we can do uh, this. Yeah. Uh, a bit of red stone for these. Six of those. Um, I'm just doing this, right? I'm not really counting. And then, oh, RF tools. My first RF tools thing. Let's make a few tables of crafting. Doop, 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 doop. Three. Not really enough, but we'll get there. Um, and then here is a crafter tier one. Let me place this down and have a look at it. No recipe, no recipe. Double click to edit this recipe. Double click. If you uh, want to make something, this is how you do it. Let me go and get, oops, excuse me. Piece of wood. This one will do, for now. Put this in here. That comes out. Apply. Oak wood planks. We can also do a second recipe. Let's do this. Apply. Now this rest, this crafter here knows how to make oak wood planks and a stick. The other thing we can do is uh, let's get a stack of cobblestone because we're going to want to do this. If we do this. One of each in there. Remember that, and then take these out. Now you can't put anything except for cobblestone in there. See that? But you can put anything in here. Now, let's see if this is correct. If I put this in here and go, all items in input slot are consumed. Go to the output buffer, remaining items like buckets. Uh, I want you to put it into the input buffer and apply. Apply. There you go. Apply. There you go. I've forgotten something. Does this need power? Yes. It needs power. Let's give it a bit. Let's just move it. Uh, maybe we should start crafting uh, power thingies, actually. But no, we'll just move it over there for now. It does need power. I forgot about that. My mistake. I wonder if it remembers its uh, job. This is actually a really good place to put this, because now I can just sort of do this, right? It has remembered it. So if I now put my missing... What did you do with my wood? You heck. It's not in here, is it? I'm not being silly. No, at least not this time. Let's get some more wood. Uh, come back. A bit of wood. There we go. I put wood in here. This should do what I think it's going to do, and if not, then I apologise for not preparing before I started, but at the same time, I didn't go back. Boom. So we got uh, sticks. Put sticks in here. Well, nothing happened. Basically what happened is it went really quickly. <laughs> it turned the... Um, wood into the oak wood planks and then immediately, because if you put oak wood planks in here, if you have enough of them, they turn into sticks and end up here. So what happened was the wood turned into stick, uh, planks which went into here like I asked it to, because if you look it says we'll stay in input buffer, which is here and then this will go into the output buffer as sticks. So the bottom one you usually want to set to uh, ext, basically, external output whatever. There's input buffer and uh, x C, but so anything that was left over after crafting will remain here. I don't know if you want to do that necessarily. I'm sure there's a reason for doing that once in a while, but I don't know what it is. What does this do? I don't know. Um, so we're happy with X for this, but this is not good enough. And I don't mind wasting the um, power because we've got an infinite supply of lava over there. Let us upgrade this. Uses. 
You can upgrade it to a tier two by just using it instead of the machine frame, of which we have a million, I've just remembered. No, we haven't. This is the machine block. Oh, okay, good. Um, let's see. We need some more of those. Luckily, we have a bunch of wood. So let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna do a few. There we go. Uh, craft a tier two is a craft a tier one with the same recipe around it. The difference is craft a tier two, four recipes, pretty much it. Uh, and then I'm going to upgrade this to a craft a tier three. I don't know if I need to, <laughs> but I'm going to because I can, right? It's cheap. That is the most cheapest of things I've ever seen. That doesn't go, it does go in there. This goes in here. This goes in here. I was putting the clay in oh, here for some reason, but I don't know. I was just, just tidy this up a little bit, get some things out of here. Don't know what I've got this for, so it for. I think I was going to. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's that one. Yeah, I replaced that with it. Okay, fair enough. Craft the tier three. Can simply hold more recipes, which is what we want to do, because now I want to automate the creation of drawers, which I hate making. So, no recipe. Recipe one, go into input buffer, apply. Recipe two, let's have a look at draw. Can I shift click this into here, by the way? So basic draw involves a chest and some oakwood planks. So let's have a look at chest. Can I do this? Yes. So this should be a chest. It's a bit difficult because it keeps changing the flipping recipe underneath me so this makes a chest which i will all items in input slots are consumed keep one out right so uh this is going to go into the input buffer again it's going to make a chest here's what i'm going to do though i'm going to make sure we keep at least one chest and at least one piece of wood in every one of these right i need a way of turning this off actually on to activate so this is going to be off when we start. So if I put a piece of wood in here, nothing will happen. If I turn it on, go. <laughs> I turn it on, go, go. Oh, keep one. Right, so I need two. That immediately turned it into the thing. If I have eight pieces of, if I have eight pieces of wood, it's not going to make a chest until I put a ninth in. I won't scroll upwards, it'll only scroll down, and then it'll create a chest, right? Easy. Then, it's simply this, yeah? So uh, that's gonna be this one. I didn't need uh, a tier three after all, but there you go. Um, if we had enough of these and then this chest here, and then this is gonna keep one and put into the external thingy, which is gonna make a basic draw and apply. But again, it's gonna keep one in every single one. If we then do this, I mean, we didn't need this or this or this. Can we just do that and not worry about it? Yeah, okay. Never mind what I was doing. So this is all cobblestone. We can't put anything except for cobblestone in these ones. And this is simply to stop it from if I start piping things in, which I'm going to do, this prevents it from um, just filling the whole thing up with wood and then only having a few things left. So if I put this stack of wood in here, it's going to... Okay. I predicted that and then forgot to mention it. So... It seems like revisionist history. You can believe that if you want to. I'm not going to complain. This needs to fill up chests. In fact, you know, maybe it would be easier if we used the chest recipe that used solid lumps of wood. Because then we don't keep using up this. So let's take this and then uh, get rid of this. And then do this. Put that in there. Then we've got four drawers. Put more in. Put more in. It's making drawers. Unbelievable, Jeff. Can't believe it. Absolutely outstanding. Look at that. So if we just keep piping um, uh, 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 wood into here, we're going to end up with a huge amount of chests. If I do this and remember that, it's only going to create one stack of drawers because it can't put drawers in here. So if we, ooh, bashing the mic again, look, going to happen. Get used to it. 
So that is our first auto crafting. We can now make a, a ridiculous amount of basic drawers just like that. So I'm going to use these off camera during my Kimmy Schmidt time to uh, make a storage area or various storage areas for all of these places. Where are my baddies? Give me some more baddies. <laughs> um, and, you know, when, when in the next episode, I'll have something to show you in that regard. But for now, I'm not going to do it. Also, at some point, uh, we, should, we should probably just put the bonsai tree up. Let's, let's just put a bonsai tree up. Bonsai. Bonsai. Hop in bonsai. I've got a hopper because I took it away from over there. And then uh, a pot is bricks. Do I have any bricks left? Three, four, five. I'm just going to do five. I don't need to make more than I need, if you see what I mean. There's all my plastic done. Put that in there, and then we can speed this up a little bit with a couple of clicks from there. Three. Ta-da! And then we can make our bomb. This first. Then this. And then... We might as well get some dirt and use it to nerd pole up there. And then we can put the put another bond. Basically, this is going to be full of wood, right? Uh, one. And then I forgot any dirt anywhere. Oh, it'll be in the the drawer, of course. So I can first of all, I can fill this up. You know, this has been bugging me for all this time, and it might be bugging you as well. Uh, get some of that up there, and then. I like how all these places are connected, so I can just run from one to the other. What an amazing design. We'll put this... Where are you? Where's my bonsai hopper? Am I being blind? Excuse me? <laughs> Who says you could be there? Quite rude. Let's again. Popping bonsai pot. There. Dirt. Sapling. Of course, um, what happens, now I think about it, if this... Excuse me? I'm confused. Do you not have room? I expect you maybe you don't have room. What if I do that? Yes, okay. Uh, let's move you down then. <laughs> I haven't got time for holes in my roof. Stop this. Uh, let's put down here. I hope it keeps its it keeps all its knowledge and its inventory, which is really nice. I didn't expect that. Uh, this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Excuse me. I had to. <laughs> okay cool so this is going to grow that it is also going to create sticks and stuff right that's a problem so i don't care about sticks but what we could probably do is something like this uh, let's turn this into on to activate get rid of this and this forget this you have to forget everything unfortunately sticks can go in here and anything else basically we'll just do this for now and then remember that. And then if things fall into there, so be it. Uh, we can just come out and pull those. And eventually we can just redirect this out of the chest or something. But for now, this suffices. It means I'm going to eventually have just uh, an endless supply of drawers. And when we get to a stack of them, we get to a stack of them. Who cares? So we're going to have more than enough chests. It seems to work okay. Chests are definitely filling up because they are, but we're going to have basically one stack of everything in there and then it will stop. And that's fine by me. I don't know what will happen to the bonsai trees if they can't do any more good work for us. I'll take two stacks of this and just sort of fill it up and see what happens. Might as well, look, do this, right? Uh, we get leaves, we get apples, we get saplings. So we'll just do this. Do it now. Don't, don't even wait for it. Because I don't want it to um, fill the spare inventory slots with the wrong sort of thing. Stop this! Pesky. Apple, yep. Uh, sapling and leaves. Uh, remember that. Get rid of these. Bung all that in there. Where is my... Go. 
<laughs> it's silly how much that works. Okay, I love it. So if you, I think if you get four in there, it'll turn into a chest. If you get one in there, it'll turn into planks. Or, or it round robins or something like that. Who cares? It, it works. And we have got spare recipes as well. So if we ever want to make anything out of this lot, let's just do so. Might as well keep that in there, actually. Not cooked apples. Uh, this, 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 this. Don't need them. Uh, and it'll make sure that fills up more quickly. Uh, do I want that? Eh, who cares? We can always empty it manually for now. We've got 18 drawers. We've got ludicrous number of drawers. Sorted. I love it. So that's the automation we wanted to get on with today. Like I say, I'll use those in a productive way at some point in the future, but for now, we're going to do something else. So uh, give me a couple of minutes. That's 15 minutes already. Uh, and we've done nothing but a brief automation of drawers. So I'm probably going to do something with this in the next half of the episode. So give me uh, a little bit of time to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, and I'll come back with me doing it. Okay, and okay. We, there's a few things we need to do. Um, I did mention the other episode that there's another way of getting ender pearls, which means because basically we can spawn endermen, um, which is not a guaranteed way of getting ender pearls, but it is a guaranteed way of getting ender men, which tend to create ender tends to create ender pearls, but not guaranteed. Thing is, that involves making the creepy doll from this uh, quest line here. Eyes like a doll, craft a creepy doll, right? If you have a look at the creeping doll mm, recipe, it's uh, black something, glowstone dust, <laughs> uh, 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 redstone, easy peasy, porcelain doll, which got nether wart. Now, nether wart we can get from sifting soul sand in a string mesh. Just a string mesh. And only a 40% chance. So that's going to be like a, a bunch of faff, right? That's compressed soul sand as well. Soul sand does not necessarily. Uh, Seem that easy to make, except when you realize. What's, what is this? Look at all these things. Dwindle cream. What is this gross? Wither dust. Yeah. Anyway, um, a bunch of stuff I'm learning. Uh, you can do it from a piece of sand in a barrel of witch water, which we have. Unfortunately, this took us a little while to get. Not in the sense that we had to build all the things leading up to it, but when we put a barrel a bucket of water in here it takes a while to turn into witch water so the first thing we probably want to do is turn all of this um mycelium into having a few barrels so that we could do more at once particularly uh, nine we don't have any barrel there's even more drawers here look at this why won't you stack oh that's a stupid one so i did wrong um so you can come away from there let us Put these in here and then take some more out again and then make a barrel eight more barrels will do it barrel x there we go so it's just oak planks and some slabs we've got any slabs yes we've got some no planks okay. uh that is enough slabs so let's just make a whole bunch of planks and then do that and then uh that there we go that's eight more wooden barrels and we can put all this in here for now Eventually we will have a decent storage system, but it is not this day, as Aragorn once said. It was Aragorn, right? Answers on a postcard, please. Remember postcards? That was a thing, back in the old days. Oh, never go wrong with postcards. Uh, we do have water right here, which is really handy and completely accident. I mean, completely on purpose, I intentionally did all of this exactly the way you see it right now. We could probably stand, to be honest, to... Uh, no. Do this a little bit. Don't use. Okay, fine. Uh, there's no way up again, of course. Uh, ooh. Is that a mob being killed? I think it might have been. It disappeared anyway. Interesting. Remember in the old days where if you pressed F3, you would get a little mob radar sort of thing because it would tell you. Um, it would give you debug information about all the mobs. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Thought I was going to have to do that the old fashioned way and destroy the water block. And there we go. So that's a bunch of uh, witch water currently being created. And if we have a bunch of sand, uh, only a bit. This is another thing we're going to be automating at some point in the future, but it all relies on pink slime. So if I whack this in here, it's all sand. Ta da! And then see how slowly it goes? 
And this is only going to be enough soul sand to do one sifting, which is 40% chance of giving us nether wart. And we need one nether wart plus some extra stuff. I mean, I don't think I have anything. I don't think I have any black anything. Uh, let's have a look at creep doll again. It's um, glowstone dust. Where's this going to come from? Crafting glowstone. Fine. I'm not going to get much of that anytime soon. I'm wondering if we can get it from uh, sieving something. Sieving compressed dust. We might have some glowstone then. So that's okay. Almost certainly we've got some glowstone now. I think about it. So now, now we have enough soul sand to do a 40% chance of you see how this is difficult? I'm not really a fan of this, if, you've, if I'm being honest. So let's put this back. Um, I mean, we might as well see if we get any, right? Get this out of here. Compress this. It has to be a string mesh as well. This is not a string mesh, no. We have a string mesh? We've got a flint. I have to make one. Oh, wow. Old tech or what? Come on now. Give me this string. String mesh. Nine, yeah, I thought so. Get out of it. So give me this. Put this in here. Put this in here. Another what? Fair enough. Four of them. Oh, I didn't expect that, actually. That's a pretty decent amount. That means we probably can make one creeping doll, but then the enderman has to drop an ender pearl, and then we've only got one. So, I mean, you can see how it starts to get a little bit loot. Oh, I haven't got any black. Does this count? That's the other thing I hadn't thought of. Um, we haven't got any black dye. No. So ink sacks, black pigment, Britannia, black dye from actually additions. The black lotus. No. Did you win one of those? What's this doing in here? I thought we might have won one. Let's go and have a look in the uh, correct place for such things. Because we do. We intend to win Black Lotuses sort of hither and thither. Yes. We can probably make one. Well, how much do we get? Wait, what? You said black dye was made by black dye from Britannia. Actually additions. It's a black lotus from actually additions, not a black lotus from Britannia. So I suspect this will not work. Where's my pulverizer here? Can we do this? No. Uh, can we do this now? No. Okay. <laughs> so this is not going to work. We don't have any way of getting black dye right now. Although I have a couple of things in mind that I want to get into that would help us get black dye, but we're not there yet because I haven't got anywhere to grow stuff. And I'm going to need to dig out some more things whilst watching Kimmy. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but that's a future thing. What else do we have? Uh, creep doll, artificial dye, organic black dye, ink sac. We've seen those. Black pigment, Britannia, actually additions. This one. What does this get? It's just a dye mixer. It doesn't even tell us what goes in it. Okay, fine. Any dye black? I wonder if I could do that. Dye black. Can I do that? Dye black. Hmm. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I'm not quite sure how to. Um, hello, create a mod name or dictionary. Dollar require prefix. What does this do? That's a default. Uh, so dollar die black. Oh wow, that's amazing! I didn't know you could do that. Hey, live and learn, everybody. Organic black dye. An alloy smelter. Charcoal and pink spings like and slime balls. We ooh. Can I use slime ball? We might have learned something here. Slime ball, blood, slime ball, slime ball, pink slime. Rice slime. Needs, hang on a minute. Oh, but then we need the induction smelter. Well, let's um, dye black. Uh, I've not given up yet. It was this one. Uh, in a, no, it was. Nope. Wait, what? Which one was it? This one. Alloy smelter from Endo IO machines. Alloy smelter. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Pull up rise I think we might be able to do this. <laughs> do you know what? I've just thought of Obsidian. We should probably make the... Uh... I'll make a void upgrade for that. Whilst I think about it. Because if I don't, I'll forget about it. And then I won't do it. Put this back. Um, the steps involved here. And I don't necessarily want to do them all right now. Uh, but it would be nice. Oh, no. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, so let's get some drawers. Hello. Thank you. Draw void. Here we go. Red temper sticks. <laughs> Why is it always the thing I didn't pick up? Do, 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 do. We should get, yeah, just make a stack like that. And we can do this this and you can go in here that and now you're going to void everything that i put into it per flipping effect you can all go in here i don't care about my story system right now you can go in there um you can go in there everything can go in everywhere except for cobblestone which can go in here and it should just go up to 2048 uh, excuse me how many can you hold <laughs> 64 stacks wow really because I have put this upgrade in, which I can't take out because there's too much in here. All right, so let's do this. No. <laughs> empty hand, please. Okay, that's not going to work. Can't have an empty hand because of all this cobblestone around me. Don't need that. Take this out. Then put all this cobblestone back. Now we'll stop at 2048. I'll put this away because I don't need it anymore. That makes me feel better at least. <laughs> Mushrooms can go in there. In here. Um, we could probably do that. I think maybe. Sure, let's put them in here. Why not? Let's see. So we want black dye. We have decided dollar dye black. That we can probably do it with industrial forego industrial you for getting this. Enderio. Enderio machines. Alloy smelter. Dark bimetal gear is going to be dark steel. Grains of infinity. Oh. <laughs> well, I was going to say maybe. But we don't have a way of getting grains of infinity yet. Because they come from sifting. Press gravel, really? Hang on. I didn't see any, but maybe. I haven't seen any. Well, I've got some tasks for myself. We're going to be uh, sifting... Oh, there's a pot there. We're going to be sifting a whole bunch of um, compressed gravel to try and get some grains of infinity. Try and get some black dye. Alternatively, maybe I'll just dig out a place here and we can start doing some more agricultural stuff. All of these things are options. And I think I'm going to decide which one I'm going to do off camera. I'm glad I got the void upgrade on there, but I don't really have anything else for you right now. Um, down here... I'm happy to report that this is ready. And what I'm going to do, set up a couple of, turn this off, set up a couple of um, tanks. Yeah, look, 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 look. Ooh, we have got something to do. So if we do this, we select the pink slime tank. Otherwise, you're going to fill it up with the wrong thing. You put this in here. Now we've got a liquid meat bucket. Excuse me? No. It's slime. I won't slam. Can I just do this? Hovering with bucket. Yes, can fill from con no. Be a, I want you to fill into container. You see what I mean? Fluid containers. No, <laughs> no, you're doing it wrong. You see. I don't see a way of doing that. So uh, what we'll do is I'll come back in the next episode, and we should have a couple of tanks here containing our uh, two types of juice that comes from here but that means this is working which means if we wanted to we could turn this one on instead and have um a whole bunch of drawers well, hey that contain all the things that have come out of here we'll talk about what comes out here at some other point but it, this will fill it let's just do that for now i'll do this for now so then we get some items we can see how quickly the items will fill up here 
and what's this going to fill? Essence. So we're going to get a different type of fluid and a whole bunch of mob drops, whereas this one's going to give us the pink slime and liquid meat that we really, 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 really wanted in the first place. That's good news bears. So in the next episode, I will have uh, already done the tanks for you, probably hooked up a bunch of drawers as well. That's kind of boring though, so I'm not going to do it on camera. I'm just not going to do much of it on camera. At least I'll prepare it and I'll show you me putting it together. But until then, Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it with my umming and ahhing and trying to figure stuff out with you nearby. Let's see how well this is doing. It's all right. We've got 12 draws since then. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. So things are looking up and I don't want to go super high tech super quickly. I want things to be interesting and kind of difficult without being ludicrous. So I hope that's working out and I hope that you're enjoying this series and I hope that I'll see you in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you.